And then we are done. I hope you enjoyed this little outtake. See ya. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. So my plans have changed a little bit. Originally, I wanted to do a little recording session on different topics, but I just checked my personal messages on Twitter and stuff like this. And I noticed that two people sent me two quite interesting integrals. At least they do look interesting. Maybe they are just an abomination. I don't know. We will see. Um, but I'm going to solve those two in the next two videos or so. Um, and I have never solved those before, so we are just going to give it a shot. Um, they are just going to be um, named like Papa tries to solve or Papa's improvised session. I, I don't really know. It's burning hot here in Germany once again. <sighs> and we are going to give it a shot. So the first one is integral of square root of tangent of x. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to try some stuff out. Maybe it does work out. So at first, I would introduce substitution. I don't know. Um, for example, let t be equal to maybe just the whole integrand um, square root of tangent of x. But that also means that t squared is nothing but tangent of x. And we could differentiate this thing now. That also means that 2t dt is nothing but um, secant squared of x dx. Ugh. Okay, um, that's already uh, looking quite ugly. Now we need to get the secant squared somehow. Uh, we could just square this right here. So this right here on both sides. So tangent squared of x is nothing but t to the fourth power. But we also know an identity. One is nothing but secant squared minus tangent squared. And we can solve for the secant squared, so adding this bitch boy on both sides. Then we know that secant squared is nothing but um, t to the fourth power plus one. Okay, so that also means that 2t dt is nothing but one plus t to the fourth power, yeah, dx. And now we can divide both sides by this thing. We can try this out. So 2t over 1 plus t to the fourth power. dt is nothing but dx. Oh, that's, that's absolutely stupid. This is going to escalate quite quickly. This looks like a lot of partial fractions, stuff like this. We're still going to go on. So now we can plug this in. So we have this t at first. So we have the integral of t times, and now we have 2t over 1 plus t to the fourth power integrated with respect to t. So we can bring this 2 to the outside and we can bring this t in the numerator. So we have this thing right here. Um, now we have to factor this thing right here, I think, in order for us to use partial fractions. So how could we do that? Um, let's try something out. Whew. The thing is um, t to the fourth power plus 1 is kind of the binomial formula. So you know uh, that a plus b squared is nothing but a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So that's almost that thing right here. Um, what he could do, if we interpret this as the a squared and this as the b squared, that also means we need a factor of 2 times t squared. Yeah. So t to the fourth power plus 2 times t squared plus 1, but we want to add a 0, so that means we have to subtract this thing once again, so 2 times t squared. Okay, now we have that, and this is going to vary a to t squared plus 1, whole thing squared, negative 2 t squared. And that's quite good, actually, because um, we have the difference of two squares now. You could have also used the second binomial formula using this factor, but that makes it quite good, because we have the difference of two squares, because 2 times t squared is nothing but square root of 2 times t, but squared. And now we can factor this quite nicely into t squared, negative square root of 2 times t, plus 1, times t squared plus square root of 2 times t, plus 1. And well, that, that was quite easy actually, and now we can plug this into here. Yeah, um, that should work out. Then we can use partial fractions after that. Okay, so now we have two times the integral of t squared over, and now we have t squared negative square root of two times t plus one times t squared plus one 
plus square root of 2 times t plus 1 integrated with respect to t. And for those partial fractions, this is going to be an outtake now. So, um, like you can see, if you have watched the outtakes, I just did partial fraction decomposition right here using a shitty old meme. And what's obvious now is that we can use the linearity to split this up into two integrals because they are additive. And also we can bring this common factor out, 1 over 2 times square root of 2. That also means we are going to end up with, uh, if we bring this out, this 2 and this is going to cancel out on all the terms. That also means we have a factor of 1 over square root of 2 times, and now we have two integrals, integral of t over t squared negative square root of 2 times t plus 1 dt and also this negative boy right here, integral t over t squared plus square root of 2 times t plus 1 integrated with respect to t. And well, what we should do now um, is probably bring this denominator into a proper form. So that's most of the time what you have to do with um, rational functions like this right here. So why not complete the square on this one right here? So let's observe the first one, t squared, negative square root of 2 times t plus 1. What is this exactly? Well. We could use the binomial formula, once again, just like before, if we would just add a factor to this thing right here. And if you remember correctly, so a plus b squared is nothing but a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, or with a negative sign in this case, <laughs> if you wish to do so. We have those two parts representing this right here. So all that's really missing is a factor of square root of 2 over 2, but the whole thing squared. Adding this and subtracting it right again. So t squared, negative square root of 2, times t, and also adding um, a square root of 2 over 2, whole thing squared to it and subtracting it. So negative, but what is that? This is nothing but, um, this is 2 over 4, this is 1 half. So we have negative 1 half plus 1. This is just going to evaluate to positive 1 half in the end. And now you see we can just factor this quite nicely right here. So we are going to end up with um, t plus square root of 2 over 2 squared plus 1 half. And you can do the same spiel with this right here, just changing the sign in here, um, not with positive, with negative sign, just changing the sign to a positive sign. And now we can plug this stuff into here. So we end up with 1 over square root of 2 times all of this chunk factored in a new fashion. So we have t over, now we have t, negative square root of 2 over 2 squared plus 1 half integrated with respect to t and the same spiel here. So negative integral t over and now we have t plus square root of 2 over 2 squared plus 1 half integrated with respect to t. And well, now we can work with this because if we take a closer look, we can just introduce the substitution and this nearly looks like the inverse tangent in the end. So what we can do, we can let, uh, I don't know, V be equal to this term right here, T negative square root of 2 over 2. And we are going to end up with DV being equal to DT. And you can do the same thing right here. And also we want to let uh, W be equal to uh, uh, this thing right here, t plus square root of 2 over 2. That also means that the W is nothing but dt. And now we can plug all of this new stuff into here, but I want you guys to notice in the numerator we have a t. So what is the t exactly? In this case, t is nothing but, if we just add square root of 2 over 2 on both sides, v plus square root of 2 over 2, that's looking ugly. Same thing here, that also means that t is nothing but w negative square root of 2 over 2. And now we can plug all of this stuff in. So that's not really hard to be honest, it's just straightforward stuff. So we are going to end up with this common factor, 1 over square root of 2 times. Now at first we have the integral we, v plus square root of 2 over 2 over, and now we have um, this v squared plus 1 half integrated with respect to v, and also negative integral. 
and now we have w minus square root of 2 over 2 over w squared plus 1 half integrated with respect to w and now you can see we can just use the linearity of the integral once again because the numerator is additive to break this up into four integrals actually so let me write this out real quick i'm going to speed this up probably So I kind of ran out of chalk right here. So you see now we have four integrals. This is looking like a real mess. And what we would like to do now, well, two of those are actually quite easy to evaluate because we know how to evaluate this and that right here immediately. Um, because this is just the inverse tangent of something you could say. But we have to manipulate this at first a little bit because we need to bring this into a squared form, just like this v squared. What we are going to do is just take the square root of this one half and square it. So that's something we can do. That's cool. And now those two are going to evaluate. So this first one is nothing but square root of 2 over 2. And then we have taking the reciprocal of this thing is just square root of 2. Okay. And also we have the inverse tangent of now we have square root of 2 times a v. So just the first one and the same thing right here prob um, basically. So adding square root of 2 times 2 and also the reciprocal of this thing, so square root of 2, inverse tangent of and now square root of 2 times w. And now I'm out of space, I have to make another cut. Ugh. <laughs> I just had a little chit chat with, with Timo, he's a doctor professor here at the University of Potsdam and yeah, um, He's always running into this room right here and disturbing me kind of, but, but he's a cool guy. Uh, I can talk to him a lot. Never mind, let's continue with this right here. I have erased everything and I've written everything we have gathered up until now um, right here. And all that's really left is to integrate this right here. And we already know how to integrate this. I'm still going to show you how to do it. I've made a video on that link in the description, my boys. So, um, let, I don't know, let's be fucking badass and let's say that lambda is nothing but this denominator, v squared plus one half. So that means if we differentiate that, that also means that d lambda is nothing but two times v dv. And well, what we can do now, we can divide both sides by two, it's not equal to zero. So we have one half d lambda right here. And you see this v dv is just our numerator right here. So this thing right here is exactly going to evaluate to um, integral one half, bring it to the outside. And now we have d lambda over lambda. And you know, this is nothing but um, one half times natural log of lambda. So that was easy to integrate. Same spiel here. Um, let's call this thing, I don't know, gamma, for example, the substitution. So in the end, we are going to end up with one over square root of two. Now we have the inverse tangent of square root of 2 times v plus the inverse tangent of square root of 2 times w plus 1 half times natural log of lambda. Um, why not plug in the lambda value in once again? So we have v squared plus 1 half and also we are going to end up with negative 1 half times natural log of gamma in this case, but gamma would be nothing but this denominator. So we have w squared plus one half. I hope you can see where all of this came from just now. And what we can do, we can factor out this one half right here, for example, on both terms. And we can use the natural log property probably to turn this into the quotient of this thing and this thing inside of the natural log to simplify this a bit. So we end up with one over square root of two. We are going into the finale, my boys, inverse tangent of now we have square root of 2. But what is v? v is nothing but t, negative square root of 2 over 2. So we have, um, yeah, so we have our t right here, square root of 2 times t, and the square root of 2 times this term right here, so square root of 2 over this is just going to give us 1. Oh, that's, that's quite nice. So negative 1 in this case, plus inverse tangent of and same spiel here basically, so we have square root of 2 times t plus a positive 1 in this case. Yeah, 
plus one half. And what is this? This is the natural log of b squared plus one half over w squared plus one half. Okay, um, I still have to think about it. Like I said before, I've never solved this thing before. Well, and v squared plus one half, what is that? v squared plus one half um, is nothing but this term plus one half, but this is basically nothing but this right here. That should be this, exactly. So this is going to evaluate to this first denominator we had here, and this v squared plus one half is nothing but this thing right here. That should actually be true. Yeah, we had that. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, good, good thing. So we have one over square root of two. And now we have the inverse tangent of what is square root of two times t? It's square root of two times the square root of tangent of x. So this makes the square root of two times tangent of x plus one. <laughs> plus the inverse tangent of same thing here, square root of two times the tangent of x plus one. And now we have plus one half times natural log of. And just like I said before, this thing and this thing, this thing over this thing. <laughs> so we have um, t squared, negative square root of two times t plus one over t squared plus square root of two times t plus one. And all that's really left to do is to plug in our tangent of x into here. Um, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to write this out right now. Um, it's just going to be a, a big mess. So just um, let's say this thing right here is a, I don't know. So that means that a is now nothing but uh, the natural log of, let's put it here, tangent. Uh, yeah, square root of tangent squared is just the tangent of x. Negative square root of two times tangent of x plus one over, and now we have tangent of x plus square root of two times the tangent of x Whew, plus one plus some arbitrary constant c in the end. And that should do the trick, I think. Um, if that answer isn't right, then I'm going to hang myself in this very room right here because there was quite some work. What the fuck, my boys. Um, I, I hope it turned out okay. Uh, that was my first let's improvise a video here on this channel. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you want this t-shirt, um, you can buy it probably somewhere if the link is still available. Those were uh, limited for a limited time. Um, yeah, and if you want to support the channel a bit more, link to my Patreon is in the description, blah, blah, blah. You know all the stuff I'm going to say. And up until the next video, have a... Um, God damn it, th those are getting worse. <laughs> Fair care. That's a fucking bad German pun. That's, that's just abysmal. Day. <laughs> See ya.